What's going on everyone? Gilman with Live All These Dogs back with another video today taking a look at CCIV. Um, they are a SPAC, Special Purpose Acquisition Corp, I believe it's the acronym. Um, but pretty much they are rumored to be merging with Lucid Motors. Um, and so that has caused the stock to run up tremendously, especially this past week. We're talking about a run from um, kind of the 20 level to hitting $32. The stock is up 28% almost today. So we'll take a look at, you know, some future levels of support and resistance. We'll take a look around the, um, you know, kind of the rumors that we've seen. And based on that, what we think the stock could do in the future. So really quick, if you enjoy videos like this, don't forget to hit that like button down below and subscribe to my channel. Comment down below what your thoughts on CCIV are. And I'd love to chat with you down there. So wasting no more time, let me hit record and we will get right into the video. Um, so as we could see, right, that's what I was saying. We are up $6.94 on the day, which is about 28%. It is pulling back a little in the after hours, um, but you know, that's, that's sort of normal for the amount of run that it had today. So what is causing this news? So there was some rumor, um, it's still a rumor, right? Because neither side has really announced it, that CCIV um, is going to be merging with Lucid, which as you guys know, it's, in, it's a luxury electric car company. Company, um, Lucid Motors and the shares have ran up kind of on that rumor because if they do merge right it's a it's a big deal it is some it is a car company that is supposed to be you know kind of on par with Tesla um, in terms of kind of um, their uh, battery technology their luxury capabilities and all that good stuff right so the first sedan is going to be called the Lucid Air um, they are rumoring to have a thousand horsepower as well as a battery range of 517 miles per charge which is absolutely amazing on both accords they've also gotten an investment of a billion dollars by the public investment fund of saudi arabia um so that's you know great news again this is kind of talking uh, taking a look at the graph and talking about you know why it's ran up so much um this is what the lucid air looks like it looks pretty nice in my opinion and if it does have the battery range that they're talking about you know it could be a game changer as well um the the thing is um i like to talk about the upside and i like to talk about the downside look if this deal goes through and this is exactly the company people are hyping it up to be and they have a production plan in place they have a car they have a date that they're going to start taking pre-orders boom i think this explodes ev as you guys know have been very very hot but um you know i like to talk about the the downside to things right that's just who i am as an investor i want to make sure that if i'm putting money right especially if you're thinking about putting money at this stage with the amount it's ran up already um what are the downside the downside is you are buying a special purpose acquisition corp right which in and of itself isn't worth more than like 10 or 12 dollars so that's the downside you're, you're looking at um we're talking about you know if no deal comes to fruition you're buying, you know, a special purpose acquisition corp, a SPAC that didn't have a merger, right? That being said, though, um, you know, this Saudi PIF, again, the people who invested a billion dollars are having a meeting soon. Um, they have a 67% stake in Lucid Motors um, and they have a meeting soon that where they are going to uh, discuss that or what, what the next steps for um you know lucid motors are they mentioned that um you know it is time for them to consider next steps which is either private placement or coming public via ipo or spac so a special purpose acquisition corp which is the way a lot of companies by the way have gone public um, especially this past year um, it's a lot easier for them to do so so they they didn't come out and say no they didn't reject the claims but obviously they're not going to announce it just yet so Look, with the momentum that this has had, this could easily break 35s again and go to 40, right? If we get news, heck, it even goes way higher in my opinion. But again, the risk you're taking is if there is no deal announced, right? What that means for the company. And I think that, you know, if there's no deal announced, we could see a sell off. But, you know, that, that's kind of the risk and reward I wanted to present both sides to you so we could see how it's traded. So as you could see, Pretty much from 128, which is four trading days ago, we've gone from a price near the 20s, right, or $18 in the pre-market to a price of $35. So if you bought at 18, sold at the very high, which again, no one can buy at the low and sell at the high, right? It's really hard to predict that. You could double your money in four days. 
Even if you bought at 20 and we're at 32 right now, we're talking a, what, 60% return in four days? Not too shabby, right? And that's stock. If you bought options, you are doing really, really well. I was at loss for words there. But let's take a look at how it's uh, traded today, especially, right, with some news that kind of came out, right? Social media hype and all that good stuff. So I've got some levels here for us. Um, so here, you know, it's pretty flat for the day. Um, trading near the 28th and then the second half of the day, right? We got some more news around, um, you know, a potential against, the, it's all a rumor still, I thought push it up to kind of the 35s and then it kind of sold off into the close. So what am I looking at moving forward? Um, well, if I, if I draw this out for us again, right? It's a company that was trading in the tens because that's what special purpose acquisition corps are typically trading at. It's held up the eight EMA really well, right? So pushed up above this first line, even this day when it had a pretty bad downfall, right? It held the eight EMA really well and continued pushing up. And now today we are, you know, here in the 32s, the 21 EMA isn't all the way down until 2446. So some levels of future support and resistance if we see a little bit of a sell off like we're seeing in the after hours right now, um, the only thing we have to push up towards is that 35 level, right? That is the first level um, since that is the all time high set, right? And that's the first level we push for. And then, you know, after that, it's anyone's game. Kind of like today was anyone's game after we crossed the 26 mark where it kind of stops, right? On the other hand, if we do sell off, I think that $30 might be a little bit of a mental resistance as well as some, um, excuse me, mental support since we're going down mental support. Um, and then if we break that, I think this 2660, I'm gonna make that 2667 for us. Um, no, it's still 2666. Call it 2675, right? We're not gonna say 666, that's just not cool. Um, <laughs> so 2675 is our next level of support, but really, um, you know, a lot of this push has happened today, right? This push has happened today. Um, so we are going to need to really validate these levels of support. If we go down there, we don't have a good validation point just yet. The, what we do have validated though, is that EMA, but that's all the way down at 2446. Look, we could just as easily go down there tomorrow if people, you know, start to sell off because there's no news. So that's the one risk. Again, I've said this over and over again, but that's the risk you're taking with, um, CCIV. If the momentum continues, I think we can see $40 this week. If we get any hint of news, we get any updates, I think we have 40 this week. Um, but if not, you know, we could sell off and then 30, 26, 75, and then the eight EMA at 24, 46 are the levels that I'm watching. I do own shares of CCIV. That's the only position that I currently have. I was looking at a dollar cost average in, so I'll, you know, see how it's going. I don't want to jump uh, when this, the stock's already this high because the chance of a pullback is definitely always there. Um, but, you know, if you see the, the momentum has always been great for CCIV, even for a couple of these days where we saw a pretty nasty sell-off in the general market, right? So the interest is definitely there. Hopefully we hear something soon. If we do, um, not a bad idea to hop on since I think Lucid Motors is definitely going to be a great company in the in the near future. But until then, you know, make sure that if you are in this company that you keep close, you pay close attention to that because I think any news related to that could really push it one way or the other. If we hear news about a merger, we push up really nicely. If we don't hear about a merger, we hear that, you know, they're either not going to go public or any other news, which again, it's been going on for so long that I think they would have maybe announce something that if, if they weren't going to, uh, you know, have that, but you know, we'll see how that goes in the near future. I'll keep you guys posted. If anything changes, um, let me know down in the comment section, how you guys are training CCIV. And I'd love to chat with you down there. Let's remember to be a bit better every single day. And until next time. Thank you.